I can't believe what's happening. I put money in the machine uh, and uh, the ticket didn't come out. Now I'm getting fined 75 euros. So I'm going to speak to the, the, the person that said I have to pay a fine. I can't believe this. 75 euros. So I've just met up with uh, Ricardo after escaping from the police. Well, they were look they were in a lookout for a Chinese guy with chi with the, with the shorts and the uh, red. If they pull you over, and a hoodie, right? I don't know you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how helpful he is. <laughs> so uh, Ricardo, tell tell them what you think what what happened. You know. You know, I'm on your side, but if you cannot prove your right, you're wrong in this world. You know, that's how the world works. You know? They have to take your word for it. You know. They have no evidence. They have to think you're lying, you know. Yeah, but and you you couldn't ver verify you, your ticket. I you, told them you so paid for it. I saw you pay for it, but he said no receipt, no ticket. You will give, you will be given a pound. I tried to tell him. What about your verification? Your verification didn't work either. You had no, to write my, my, it. My ticket was, was okay. You know, I wrote the, the date and the time on it by then, so it was fine. He was trying to pick a fight, you know, to instigate. I was in the. Okay, are we going towards the station right now? It looks no, like. No, no, we're going towards the city center. <laughs> okay. That's the, one of the okay, two mysteries. I'm not going back by train today. Like, um, <laughs> let's go by, by bus. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, tomorrow we might be detained there. I'm going to have to wear different stuff, <laughs> act like a secret agent. Tomorrow uh, we're going to Venice, will by be the way. Much later, nine o'clock, eight o'clock. So Dude, the guy literally had his arm on me like this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like. I'm gonna go and speak to the people and then he was like behaving like a mafia. He was, literally, he looked like a thug, the guy. Looks like when he finds you, he gets 10%. I don't, I don't know. I can ask my friends. You know. They have these authority calls. Like they they and he power. asked me to pay with cash. I, was like, I don't have cash. Like, as if he would take it in his pocket. This no, is Italy. No, they will give you a receipt. You know. <laughs> I'm not paying any fine here. But he got my name though. Maybe. What are you going to do? You don't live here, you have nothing here. So he might see me tomorrow. Anyway. Sorry? Your name is on the ticket to Venice. Yeah, but they're not that sophisticated with their technology. I don't know, I can ask my friend. Anyway, guys. It's fucked up. If you have, if you never have, if you don't have a ticket in a develop, I call this developing developing country. But by the way, this is basically a developing country. Look at this. Oh, Woo. yeah. Stop. Pay your ticket. Our joke turned into reality. Yeah, and he said, if you don't live here, you have to pay for on the spot. Yeah, because they know you will never pay for it. They're not stupid. I can't believe I, I let him. Sh I showed him my passport. Actually, I could have lied. <laughs> my name is Harry Potter. In my opinion, there is a difference between Spain, Italy, and England and Germany. You eat some time. No, no, no. Spain and Italy, and, f and and there's a difference between France, England, and Germany, and Spain and Italy and Portugal. <laughs> They're all like under the Franco thing, you know. No, Franco's on his plate. Or Mussolini. Or... <laughs> but like uh, the Western Europe actually just is is really just uh, England, Germany, and France. It doesn't include Spain, sorry, or Italy. Yeah. This used to be a dictatorship too, like so where they're used to it, you know, conform. Anyway, a little bit of drama, never hurt nobody. You should have recorded it, you know? I did record, nah, not in the time. Uh, yeah. I should have. Actually, you know what, I should have got the footage with him. You can do it below as long as you can share it online. So no, I will share it online. That's <laughs> my no point. Record for your, share with you for guys. Your for yourself, not for the, uh, Unless you blur his face. Technically, you're supposed to lose his face. Yeah, he was so ugly. Uh -huh. He was on a power trip, you know? <laughs> so what did he say to you? He, he, I thought he was gonna... Um, Give me a fine. No, I thought he was gonna take, hold you for ransom. 
Yeah, yeah, he's asking, I'm afraid to go? Yes, okay, fine. <laughs> and so you were very calm in the situation? I tried to keep telling you you were right, but no. For him, you didn't have a ticket, you know? I know. Yeah, but what if we went to find him on the train and told him? Maybe you, you would have paid like, I don't know, that 15 euros. I don't know. What, because the ticket machine was broken? I think you put the money before the... Yeah, the but time. then if I put it in before the, the, the time you meant they to put it in, it comes that. out. It doesn't just take it. Anyway. Okay. I got an extra the machine. Okay, let's just go. Which way are we going? Where are we going? Where are we heading? So this is a nice little uh, cafe. Red lights all the time in Italy. So this one building is this, it's huge. But what's this? Is that a hotel? What are you The building we're under. It's a portico, you know, not a building. It's a what? Portico. Uh, I don't know the That's way. This is not a building. Uh, how do you call it? Dutch No, but this this is a block, right? It's a block. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you always wear this port in Spanish it's called portales. Like Doors. A portico is just Okay. So we're heading towards the Plaza Maiore, right? Nice. Ma Plaza Maggiore. So we arrived at one of the best hotels in Italy. The historic Grand Hotel Majestic. So where all the VIPs go. We're still on the way to uh Plaza Nayore. Let's uh, try and avoid police and uh, uh, try not to get wrong anyway. He can drive like mental, that's why he's got. Look at all these cars, they all like smashed into each other before. Crazy place. Hey, but beautiful. What's that? Church. Cathedral. Is this the... Uh, no, I don't want to see it. That's the church. church. This is a pretty big church. Oh. Let me go and pray. For good luck. I need it. Amen. I'm not a Catholic, but I just, well, I confess my sins. Sorry for running away from the ticket officer. Wow. This is just a church too. Let's see the basilica later. We're approaching the altar. Reminds me of that altercation that I just had. <laughs> I guess that's where the road's from. Wow. Organ. Oh, like any other church, quite a bit taller and bigger, but nonetheless, a church. Well, let's go to the biggest church in the world, apart from the Vatican. So that's going to be impressive. Oh, here we go. Piazza Maiore of Bologna. 
Do you know how many of these towers there are? Apparently there's like in the whole city there used to be hundreds. Yeah, hundreds, yeah. There used to be. Oh shit. Crazy. Uh, these guys should be looking for me. Let's get away from them. That's the local police. So so apparently this was this place was used for a load of functions including like uh, performances but also executions. Do you want to see the Roman remains under the, the floor? Sure. As I was saying, this is used for public executions, this square. <laughs> Does that include if you don't produce a train ticket? Yeah. Okay. That's what it was meant for. <laughs> is that all the people that got executed? No, no, they are victims of the war. Yeah, so they, they still got executed. Well, they were killed in actually. Where's the floor? It's a public library. No, you said uh, there's a... Where? On the floor. Under the feet. Oh, so this was... There was evidence that this place was started in the 3rd century BC. Crazy. Slidey. Wow. Look at this. What is this? Post office. Ah, you can kind of see. Yeah, you see. You know what, I do look like someone that wouldn't pay the train fare. Look at me. Yeah. You, you don't look much better. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a picture. I'll call the police. <laughs> oh, there's the walkways down there too. Can you go down there? Yeah. That's uh, 2,000 years old. All right, let's keep going. In the restaurant. Oh, public toilets. Oh, it's free for once. Oh my God, it's, it's a library. It's a public library. Normally, even in Italy, you have to pay for the toilets, right? Even in the bus station, you have to pay. Of course. Mm. Ah, yeah. It's not of course because in England, in France, and Germany, as I said. In well, the developed in, uh, countries, you don't I, have to pay. I have to pay for the toilet. Well, you do have to pay in Where another way. Or... You're paying it through your ticket. No, That's no, how I they do it. Okay. Yeah, so, well, Glasgow is then is not a developed country either. <laughs> <laughs> They're just barbarians, savages. Yeah, but you do have good architecture in Italy. This is one thing for sure. Yeah, so, oh, shit. Oh, I nearly fell. Oh, okay. Crocs are easy, but they're not very safe <laughs> on uh, marble services. This is the Neptune statue. What's this? Oh, this is a famous Neptune statue. From the Greek, is it Greek god? Yeah. See the trident? That's the Maserati. Is it? No, it's the Roman god or Greek god. Uh, you don't know? Yeah. Of course I know mythology. You see that's, the trident? That's the Maserati logo. That's the, the trident that Aquaman uses too. <laughs> With the Maserati logo. Keep going. And yeah, more. Mafia people doing business, you see, up there. 
mafiosi. This is what I feel about Italians. They're either really nice, they're either really nice or they just want to kill you. So there's no intermediate. And that, and that ticket officer wanted to kill me. Oh look, a monk, modern day monk. So apparently here was where executions took place. This is called Crescentone, be careful this step. So what is Emilia Romana? Is that like... Romagna, no, Romagna, Romagna. Romagna, Emilia Romagna. It's a very big province actually in Italy. And uh, from the name, obviously, it's founded by Romans. And this was all before Italy was a state, so that each province probably was like a small kingdom. But this is the food uh, capital. So we're at the right place for food and uh, the finest foods of Italy. And where is the this... Uh, the cathedral, which is also uh, San Petro. Oh my God, huge! It kind of looks like very, very old. Because look at the top. We should go inside. Let's go. Let's go. So this is uh, not just a cathedral; it's actually a basilica. So it's like the, the 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 really influential cathedrals have another level, which is another status, right, by the Pope. And so, as Ricardo told me, this, if they carried on building this, it would be bigger than the Vatican uh, Basilica, St. Peter's Basilica, right, in the Vatican. But they, they stopped building it because the Vatican <laughs> sent orders to stop. That's Oskita only. Where do we get in? <laughs> That's exit, man. Oh. Okay. Woo! Huge. So this is the second biggest uh, cathedral in the world. I'm not sure, but maybe. Want to start? Yeah. We go. We go. Actually, you saw at the. You can't actually wear shorts in here, so we're lucky to get in. We were lucky to get in. <laughs> Holy moly! Whoa! This is huge. It's like a city of a building. <laughs> you can play a football game here. It's like a football field. You could play it literally a football match. The keeper would struggle to kick the ball all the way down to the other end. It's funny with women's football, the, when, the, when the goalie kicks it, it never reaches the halfway line. You are such a misogynist. Shame. You sexist. Chinese. British. But now in the men's game, the, the men can kick it all, almost all the way to the penalty area. Yeah. Then that what would be a say, leaving our inferior tomorrow. Not sure what they're building here, but there's a tower. It's uh, you see it's leaning. How much is it leaning? Like a few, like a good few meters, right? I don't know how it's so far, but we can ask. No, it's leaning. It's not straight. I lean here, yeah. Yeah, but it's probably like two or three meters leaning. No, we're going there. Yeah, yeah. we're going. To, I want to climb this, right? We'll, 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 uh, we'll eat food after we after this. The what? I want yeah, to show you the food court. Let, let's go there afterwards. So this is what everyone comes here to see. Look at this. One's leaning to the right, one's leaning to the left. Wow, it's pretty high. It's probably like a hundred meters high.
you have to really be careful with the streets. People are just like zooming around in their scooters. There we are. So we actually have to go to the tourist information office. We have uh, to pay. If you're a student, you get three. And they're very friendly here. So now we have to wait until five. So they have a gift shop here. Very well organized. Ah. Thank you. So you have to buy the ticket, then you have to wait for the going as a signal as a okay. this is your receipt and your ticket with the time for the tower arrive five minutes before because they are fit okay tax with the time and you can show that you can go thank you so much you're welcome Grazie mille. okay success great success so don't I'll get the food. ticket if i don't get the ticket then I'm don't lose it. Yeah, don't lose it. I, I, I didn't get it. Let's go to the kitchen. So we got a bit of time. Five left. Five minutes earlier. Why is there seats here? Oh, festival. This is called Crescent Corner. This free. Oh, this place is a platform. Crescent Corner. But for, what was it for? For these sorts of things. Walk. What is this here? What? What's the name of this building? Uh, Basilica. D? The uh, it starts with P. Petro, Petro, Petronio. Petronio. Excellent. A Basilica di San Petronio. A plus. So here there's a performance today. But uh, in the olden days they'd be hanging someone here. I still think all the police are looking for me. But you know when you're trying to escape you always feel like uh, someone's chasing you. You train just for the views. <laughs> so we've come through uh, a food court and we ended up in a nice little street with uh, selling fresh fruits, crabs, fish. Oh, hello. Buenas tardes. Uh, fruits. Yeah, it's Buena Sera, yeah? Buena Sera. Bona. Oh, Bona. It's a bread shop. Chilies. You like meat? It's a butcher. Mm, butcher. How do you call that? Uh, butcher. Machelelli. Machelelli, yeah. Machelelli is the best. Machelelli is the best. In, in Spanish, it's carne, carne serie. Is this the place where you can buy the fresh pasta, you know? Wow. I can cook it for you if you want. So basically... Different fillings, different sizes, you know? And just Cotillones, put it... That's what I told you about. Cicotta and parsley or spinach. So you that. can buy this and just, just boil I'll, it in I'll water. I'll cook it for you, yeah. And then... Whatever you want, so it's in English. Uh, mortadella, those one, the green ones are with mortadella, the, the yam you liked, with ricotta cheese. Then there is ricotta and parsley. Then you have buffalo mozzarella and ham. Oh, it's everything. Tortellini are these ones, right? super small. Yeah? Small ones. And tortelloni is that one? The big one. So Let's see this different. Tortellini, tortelloni. Tagliatelle, yeah. And tagliatelle. Pumpkin tortelloni. So all fresh. Tortelloni with porcini mushrooms. Yeah. Amazing. Radish and speck, which is like spicy. Pork. Speck, yeah. Speck. Check this out. Woo! You smell the meat and the cheese. Very fresh. Huge cheeses. Hello. Buonasera. 
and note is like you not. Want to like buy some samples or something? No. Uh, I don't want to eat yet. Let's. Uh, no, 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 it's for takeaway. You know, we're coming tonight. Do you want to yeah. buy some meat? Wine. Fresh meat. Yeah, but this looks not as good as the, the one on the outside. I think they're the same. Oh, they're the same, they're just showing you. I don't know, maybe it's... They should, they, they should take it from here, yeah. Looks like they took it from here too. Probably more expensive. We will be back later. Yeah. Thank you. Meat and cheese. Italian. Girls having a drink. The other side streets. And more, yet more pasta shops. Wow. Is this lunch or dinner? It's four for dinner. Late lunch, late lunch, late lunch, ice lunch, I think. Definitely a lunch, not dinner. Very nice. Yeah, it's the food is so amazing here. That's what Bologna is all about. And then it's these towers. Apparently there were hundreds and hundreds of these towers. Up to 200 towers in the 16th century, and then they were all taken down gradually. Now there's less than 20 towers. So let's uh, make our way to the tower place. It's that way. Oh. Oh. So if you want to buy the pasta, train. just cook it for you tonight. Like if you want to try some you know, different types. So. Just while we're waiting for the um, to get into the tower, we are here in what is the library of the oldest university in the world, founded in 18 oh not not 18 1088 1088 University of Bologna. And uh, for reference, the second oldest where I went to, Oxford, was founded in 1096, so eight years later. So, pretty awesome. Let me see how old it is. this is. So the library is upstairs. What? That's the exit. Okay, so I this was built in the 1562 and 1563. And uh, there's 6,000 coats of arms of students. Largest collection of heraldic war adornments in existence. Wow. And it was uh, ceased to function as a university building and now it's a public library. So, there you have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's got the biggest collection of coat of arms in the world. It's funny, coat of arms means for battle. So. <laughs> oh my god. Here's another tower. Oh no, this is the basilica. It looks like, I thought it was a tower. So it's so long, it comes all the way down here from the, from the Piazza Maiore. Woo! Sun is baking now. Almost five o'clock and it's super, still super warm. Yeah, do you want to grab some gelato? There's yeah, let's get a gelato. To the left. Um, uh, no, I'm thinking uh, Pilate, uh, gelato after I come down, so I'll be really hot by then. I'll save it for then. 
Okay, let's just show you the... And there's bookshops outside the... Fancy shops. Yeah, fancy bookshops. But I'll, t I'll take the espresso here actually, just for the... Yeah, I'll buy you one. No, 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 thanks. I'll just bring some water from the bottle. No, no, I have some water, thanks. What? On the table outside. If you want to just pay cheap, go inside the bar. Then. Oh yeah. The counter. So you got the local uh, know-how. If you do this, then they're gonna they're gonna charge you extra. Hello, one uh, espresso please. Okay, one minute. Thank you. One fifty for espresso. Thank you. And then we can take it out. Oh, why is it All right, here you go. Cheers. To climbing the tower. Give you a sip of water as well. Oh, it's sparkling water. Very nice. All right, onwards. So you can really see the difference. This this one is basically straight, and Karizenda uh, one is not straight. We're going to the Azinelli. The tallest one in uh, the city, 97 meters tall. And we have the ticket ready. You have to buy it in advance and reserve your time because only limited people can be, go up at any one time. So these were used as uh, even prisons at, at one point, but they're used also as residential and uh, for other uses, these towers. But basically, every family building a tower as tall as they can to sim simplify their prominence. Yeah, yeah, so it's a bit stupid. In the end, with hundreds of towers, the city just looked like a New York, but dysfunctional New York. Because imagine this places didn't have water or electricity, obviously, in those times, in the 16th century. All right, time okay. to go up. So would help. This is the square part there. All the way up. tell because it's uh, separated at each stage so it does, doesn't look like it's going all the way up Breathe. pretty dodgy though you fall you're dead I think these support the structure. They reinforce them with these metal <laughs> poles. 
it here is looks like they've got electricity and uh, water installed. probably some sort of stage that people waiting to go down we're going up I estimate we're like a quarter of the way up so let's keep it going never sweat <laughs> it's nice just to chill here Oh. Anyway, by the way, the guards downstairs, they didn't even check my ticket. So Apparently they don't care. They just make you buy it, but they don't check it. So, if you're short on your dough, maybe you can sneak in. is up uh, the uh, man comes up to tell you to go down so I think we spent about 10-15 minutes up here which is pretty enough but yeah it's been pretty nice <laughs> salute to the tower the two towers sound like Lord of the Rings one little last Walk around. And, uh, put the stuff in my bag and uh, let's go. <laughs> This bit had to fit across. Scusi. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this part. This part, you see, there's a uh, part that's hard to get across. Another nice part of it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back down. Right, going down. Well, wasn't too hard going down, but going down it's probably much easier, but, uh, but more dangerous. Look at this. Right, see you guys down there. Just heading down, this is an idea of how thick the wall is. It's about about a meter, just over a meter thick. So this provides some breeze when you go up. But going down, not too bad. Just have to hold onto the handrails. And uh, there's some views on the way down too. Because now we have a group coming up. Sure. Uh, uh, ah, so we have to stay. Sure, uh, I'll wait for the next one. Going ah. <laughs> down just to really be careful. Check this out. My amazing footwear for this. Shit. Okay, you've got to hold the handrails like I said to you. I just saw a slip there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to start recording so I can hold the handrail. Good luck a little bit. Woo! Yeah. So that's the way you wait. And uh, we're here. Downtown Bologna.